How do you folks, Bones here. Uh, I just thought I'd show you a quick video of my cross slide modifications that I've done to my uh, Super 7. This idea I got from a chap called Steve Jordan. He's a, a YouTuber who does quite a lot of uh, posting on uh, making things for his ML7 attachments and things. And this was uh, one of his ideas, whether it was his originally, I'm not sure, but these things come around, don't they? So who knows? But uh, yeah, it works really well. On Steve's YouTube, he's got... Um, He's got all the links to where you can purchase this kit. And uh, it comes from Banggood. And I think mine cost 50 quid, I think it was, with a little discount. So it's nothing really with postage. <laughs> 50 quid. Uh, put it on a piece of aluminium, 5mm alley. And it's really secure on there. There's, there's quite a nice machine, actually. It's, there's no there's no play, no rattle, no backlash or back and forth. So it works really well. My dividing attachment is one of the Geo Thomas designs and whoever had this laid before made this and has done a really good job of it so I'll keep this. I'll need some more plates for it but uh, yeah it works really well actually. The electronics Steve put in a box at the side of his lathe. I've done a similar thing. I've put mine in this black box which is can be taken off, off and on as and when I need to use the uh, unit. Engraved a little brass plaque as well to fit on there just for and uh, that's it on that's it on half so as you can hear it's uh, quite a quiet unit obviously you've got some machining noise to go on top of that but uh, it's easily bearable that's what I did the first couple of things the speed I did them at that's match chat I think most of that noise is coming from the uh, ooh, coming from the motor, uh, coming from the motor, coming from the fan itself. So anyway, these are the couple of bits that I've done to start with. So I put some flats on this piece of brass. That come out really well. Quick polish up, and I did some cross drilling. Anyone spot the deliberate mistake? Oh, there it is, look. Didn't count out uh, correctly on the dividing attachment. I'll stick that to the back. There you go. Perfect. So, yeah, I think for small pieces, brass, aluminium, mild steel, I think it's going to be perfect. It may, may protest a bit with uh, stainless steel, but get plenty of lube on there, as you say. And, uh, It'll be smooth sailing. So there you go. Cheers, folks. If you've got any questions at all, put them down below and I'll answer best I can. Um, obviously, I can give you links to where I got all these bits and pieces. If you jump on Steve Jordan's YouTube as well, he's got this set up on his. And he's got a lot of links to where he got his bits and pieces. And uh, you can take it from there if you want to do this mod yourself, which is really worthwhile, I think. So there you go. Cheers, folks. Have fun.